So, I've uh, been exploring what goes on with one of these PWM motor controllers. And uh, essentially, um, the potentiometer, which has got a switch in the back, which is the two terminal, that's just on off. I don't really care about that. I can short that out and it wouldn't be a problem because I feed this with power from the three phase uh, rectifier. Uh, anyway, so on the other side of that, there is a 100k uh, pot. Now, uh, essentially, when this is at its minimum setting, um, the resistance between the, uh, on this one, it would be the yellow wire, I think. I've tangled this up some bit rotten. Um, and the black wire in the centre, is that the right way up? There we go. So the yellow and the black um, will be um, very low. And as you turn this thing up, oh, it must be the, the red and the black. Oh, uh, no matter. So at the low setting, you've got low resistance, low output. So as you increase the resistance, you get higher output. So my thinking is, okay, so we keep the 100 ohms uh, 100k rather between uh, red and uh, yellow and then to put a resistor in series with the black so if you then um, increase that resistance by a switch powered by the output uh, of the controller then you can switch to a higher voltage so what I'll do, or what I've done, is I've made a board that will go between the input socket uh, for this and the output socket for that. Basically just to either have a resistance or short that resistance. And this is a very ugly piece of error board with some very bad practice on it. Um, but I had this relay are you going to focus? Not in this light. Okay, so you've got a 12-volt relay. Coil volt, uh, the coil uh, resistance is 700 ohms. I've wired that in series with a 2K um, adjustable uh, multi-turn whatever pot. And then the... Uh, and that's going to be powered off that end, which is going into the uh, business end of the controller. I get me 0 to 20 volts. Uh, so I, I essentially we'll get a switching point, but I can increase the resistance so that the switching point moves to a higher throttle position uh, if it ends up being too low. If it ends up being too high, there's nothing I can do about it apart from go for a lower voltage um, relay, which I've not got. So it's this or nothing really. <clears throat> okay, and on the other end, I've got uh, an in and an out, and that goes through the switching. So, and that's got a 20k pot. So what I've discovered is, at about, if you want 9 volts output, you get uh, about 10k um, to the centre. So I've added the potential to put another 20k on it, which should get me to about 20 volts. But that's, again, adjustable. So, um... In the in the uh, the normal state, I've got a normally closed contact, and then when it's energized, it'll be normally open and running through that 20k resistor. So, uh, well, we shall uh, we shall see what happens. Yes, it's very ugly, and because I already had this relay on this board, I didn't want to take it off, and the board is mm, not sure what that was on, but it was some rough piece of crap. Uh, I've uh, only had room to put the uh, capacitor on the back end, which is really bad. But that's, um, and this is a bit of a guess, this is what I happen to have on a board that I pulled off uh, the board, uh, a 10 microfarad. Hopefully that'll just stop the switch bounce, but we shall see if it works or not. Anyway, so a little bit of a try.